Okay, from this video, we want to talk about the select menu and all the selection type. We have the select menu here and we have a main select tool. And I explain them one by one to the end of this menu. And these are very important selection that we have all of them uh, separately here. I undock this menu for better understanding. I'm seeing that. Right click and in icon size, make a large icon. And I want to test it. We have two things to select. One selection is selecting object. For example, I insert a lot of object and I want to select them, for example. I pause the video to insert a lot of object. Okay, I insert a lot of things in a scene. For example, we have a large scene that I want to select. If you want to select them, simply you can click on them when you are in the mode tool. And if you want to add the selection, you <coughs> hold shift and click and you can select multi object. If you want to remove from selection, you uh, hold control and click on any object to remove the selection. In here in an object manager, as you can see, you can select all the all object with the shift and control. If you want to select object from here to here, hold shift and click. It's like a windows, you can select them. Uh, but these selection are special. If you want to select live selection, you can select it. And if you click and drag, you can simply with a click and drag select something very easily. And the live selection, click on that. In the live selection, we have a three tab here. I explained access and soft selection in the previous lesson. Please refer to them. Just we have an option. I will be explaining you these up uh, uh, sitting in a selecting element. Uh, okay. So with this tool, we are selecting objects. Another method of selecting is selecting this component here, point, edge, and surface. Okay. Point, edge, surface of one object, two objects. <clears throat> okay. With a live selection, uh, you can, uh, for example, I select, you can hold, you can select with a click, it's not important. You can select, click and drag and select something or click and hold shift as before. If you select the objects that are in the same uh, state, for example, objects are, that are uh, cube. As you can see, we have an object tag for all of them and we can change uh, its sitting uh, in the same way. But if you select the other object that uh, does not, mm, uh, it's not in its category, for example, a uh, torus. As you can see, we have no longer any uh, object tab because the object tab of torus is different with the uh, cube. Okay, if you select the object that are in the same category, it shows you the object tab. Okay, if you want to select, uh, as you can see in the, uh, in the mouse, we have a circle that is a radius of the uh, life selection. To go in this uh, life selection setting, you have to click and go into properties and you can change the circle of size and you can... Uh, if the object hits contact the circle, it will be selected as you can see. The shortcut, important shortcut of changing the circle of the live selection is holding a middle mouse button and drag up and down or left or right. You can change the radius. Remember that? Okay. Another selection for object is a, a rectangle selection. This selection you can simply click and drag and select any object in the rectangle okay simply you can click and drag and select it we have the same setting as the access and the soft selection all of the selection has the soft selection and access and an option these are deactive because of we have to go into the element selection and i will explain you the lasso selection is simply you can click and drag and 
select like this in a difficult situation and release the mouse to select this area that is in the lasso area polygon selection you have to click 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 and you have to go the first and click again to select in polygon these are very good for element or component selecting here it's very explaining okay this is our selection in object I delete all of them. You can call with Control A and select all of them and delete. I want to go into explain you how to select the component with the, these these tools. Insert a plane, and I increase its segment to have a more segment. Mm. It is enough and make them editable to select to go into editable to select its element okay we are in modern mode and uh, let's give any material the dark material for that sweet okay to see the element better here okay for seeing the element we have to go to the polygon line or edge or point these are elements or components of this object. And as you can see, if you're on a regular selection in a move, you can select them individually holding shift and select the polygon and modeling and change them. Or if you want to remove from selection, hold control and select them as you can see. But in a live selection, we can simply, as you can see, the circle is and the radius is important here. You can simply click and drag and select any component that you want. For example, this shape and uh, start modeling. So this is the second method important for selecting the things. That means uh, component here. Okay. And now we are going to the this option. Pressure dependent is for tablet and touch and when you have a pen we can uh, select or deselect depend on pressure. First I want to explain you tolerance selection. As you can see if it's active when the component for example in this mode is a surface. If you the surface contact a little contact with the, this circle will be select as you can see with a little click anywhere to deselect that this is tolerant and for example you want to select this roll and you select the edge and suddenly if you hit the this polygon they will be select and it is in some time in very hard to select something if you want to uh, more accurate select you can turn off the tolerance uh, select and as you can see when we this circle this radius of the <clears throat> live selection contact the uh, surface it does not select because uh, you have to go uh, almost inside the up poly, uh, surface and select it or you have to increase the radius of the selection and when the most area of the selection go to most area in this polygon it will be select as you can see When you want to select that, you have to reduce the more and you can see, you can simply select that role without selecting the neighbor root uh, polygons. This is tolerant selection. In most cases, it's useful and in the most cases are very difficult to select. And visible select only. I explained it to you for with a sphere going spear here and you can move them move the object with the live selection it's not important anymore okay going here make it editable and as uh, sorry make them more make it editable and now I have more uh, polygon here visible selection for example you can select uh, only this area and you can select it you can go into the uh, click again 
to life selection to bring its make it tolerant for mm, selecting the polygon as you can see it just selected uh, <clears throat> the polygon that you are seeing not back of that it select what you see here but if you mm, turn off the visible only you can select uh, your front polygon and as you can see the polygon at the back will be uh, the polygon at the back selected okay because visible only is turned off it is nice in some cases for example uh, going to the this area and as you can see we can select it's these uh, polygons with a lasso selection with a rectangle selection and rectangle selection has those uh, option also the lasso selection has option also and the polygon they are all the same just the method of selection different between them okay for example going in a lasso selection in a lasso selection we turn on the visible only or tolerance selection for example uh, we turn off the tolerance selection as we can see the polygon just in the uh, area of selection area of a rectangle selection will be selected if you turn on the tolerance selection all of the polygon that contact this uh, circle will be selected you can change it okay i so I, I activated the visible selection only and the uh, just the half polygon as you can see out selection or maybe this selection will be uh, select because we take this visible selection only if you turn it off and want to select for example all of the polygon in this area you can turn it off and click and drag and select as you can see we select all of this area that is the back of our my view okay you can turn off or on visible selection only as you desire okay the option is the same and okay that's very easy for this selection the option are very easy and i want to um, tell you a simple simple technique for example you want we have a, a special selection for that purpose but if you want to select for example this polygon to this polygon uh, you can hold shift just select to this polygon if you want to select the polygon in between them click hold down shift and control and click as you can see the polygon in between them will be selected okay that's the selection the main selection tool and that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release